Hi! Good day! This is Miss LM and we're back for another video about factoring polynomials. So, kung bago kayo sa channel na to, um, pwede nyo balikan yung ibang factoring techniques na na i-upload na wherein we have the greatest common monomial factors or GCMF. Meron din tayong factoring techniques for specific binomials. Ito ay ang mga difference of two squares and sum or difference of two cubes. And also, we have factoring techniques for specific trinomials and these trinomials are PST or perfect square trinomials. And tapos na rin tayo sa general trinomial A is equals to 1. So now we're going to discuss about general trinomials A is greater than 1. So ano nga ba ang general trinomials A is greater than 1? So these are the trinomials where the coefficient of the first term is greater than 1. So, kung dun sa general trinomial A is equals to 1, equal lang sa 1 yung kanyang um, numerical coefficient of the first term. So, dito, greater than 1 na. So, they are the trinomials that are not considered as PST. It can be written in these forms. So, almost same siya nung nauna natin general trinomial. Yun nga lang, itong mga numerical coefficient na ito ay greater than 1. Okay? Now, how are we going to factor general trinomials A is greater than 1? So, step 1 is to determine the factors of the first and last term. Kailangan na natin hanapin ang factors ng first and last term. Step 2, get the cross products of the factors. So, magmumultiply tayo later kasi kailangan natin ang cross products. And, do not forget to put the sign to the appropriate factors. Step number 3, choose the cross product whose sum is equal to the numerical coefficient of the middle term of the trinomial. So, kailangan daw, pag pinag-add natin yung cross product, ay equal siya sa numerical coefficient na middle term. Then, for the last step, we have to write the factors as product of the two binomials, including the variable. So, yung last step is to write the final answer. Okay? So, meron tayo ditong table form kung saan pwede natin siyang gamitin as pattern on how we can write the factors of these general trinomials. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kung positive ang middle term at positive ang last term, so the factors must have both positive. And then here, we have negative ang middle term, positive ang last term, so both naman dito ay negative ang ating factors ng last term. Kapag naman positive ang ating middle term at negative ang ating last term, so kung mapapansin nyo, opposite yung ating sign, isang positive, isang negative, and the negative sign is on the factor having the smaller product. So, dito naman, negative ang middle term, negative ang last term, magkaiba ulit yung sign ng factors ng last term, and then, ang negative naman ay mapupunta sa factor having the greater product. So, kung dun sa general trinomials A is equals to 1, kailangan lang natin yung greater value and smaller value. Dito naman, kailangan natin yung smaller product at saka yung sa greater product. Now, let us have our first example. So, example number 1, we have here 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. So, again, meron tayong pattern na pwedeng sundan. Um, both factors must be positive. So, ano yung step 1 natin? We have to factor our first and last term. So, what are the factors of 2x squared? We have 2x and x. What are the factors of positive 1? Wala namang iba, kundi 1 and 1. So, dun sa step 2, we're in mag Ko cross product tayo and kailangan natin ilagay yung sign ng ating factors ng last term since positive naman pareho yung ating factors dito so no need na to put any sign in this factors so get the cross product now when we say cross product we have to multiply 2x to 1 2x times 1 is 2x and then another cross product 1 times x is 1x or simply x. Step number 3 is to add kasi kailangan natin ng sum. So, pag pinag-add natin yan, 1x or x plus 2x, the answer is 3x. So, as you can see, equal siya sa ating middle term. Ibig sabihin, nahanap na agad natin yung factors 
para dito sa ating first example. So, how are we going to write the final answer? So, ang magka-partner po ngayon is itong magkatapat. 2x plus 1 kasi positive ito. And then, the other one is x plus 1. So, the final answer is the quantity of 2x plus 1 multiplied to the quantity of x plus 1. One. We can also write it as quantity of x plus 1 multiplied to the quantity of 2x plus 1. Okay, let's have example number 2. We have 4x squared minus 11x plus 6. Before we determine the factors of the first and the last term, hanapin muna natin kung alin nga ba yung pattern na pa natin sundan. So, here we have negative na middle term, positive na last term. So, we can uh, follow this pattern wherein the possible factors of the last term must be both negative. Okay? So, what are the factors of 4x squared? We have 4x and x. And what are the factors of 6? We have 6 and 1. Kaya lang, kung mapapansin nyo po, pag pinagsama natin itong 4x and 6 mamaya as factors of this trinomial, um, magkakaroon tayo ng conflict because there is a common factor between 4 and 6. So, invalid na to agad. Hindi na to agad pwede. So, let's try 4x and x. Then, we have um, 3 and 2. So, tandaan, parehong negative yung ating factors na ating last term. So, get the cross product. We have negative 8x. And then, negative 3 times x, negative 3x. And then, if we add this 2, the answer will be negative 11x. So, kagaya na siya ng ating middle term, kaya nahanap na natin yung ating final answer or yung ating factors. So, what will be the factors? So, we have 4x minus 3 multiplied to the quantity of x minus 2 or the quantity of x minus 2 multiplied to the quantity of 4. Okay. Example number 3, we have here... 8x squared plus 2xy minus 3y squared. Okay? So, what are the factors? Or before we proceed in uh, determining the factors of the first and last term, hanapin na muna natin kung alin nga ba yung pattern na susundan natin. So, meron tayong positive middle term, negative na last term. So, positive na middle term, negative na last term. So, kailangan daw ang factors natin na isang positive at isang negative wherein yung negative ay mapupunta sa factor nung ating last term na makapagbibigay ng smaller product. Again, yung negative ay mapupunta sa factor ng last term na makapagbibigay sa atin ng smaller product. Okay, so what are the factors of 8x squared? So, we have 8x and x. Then, for 3y squared, so we have 3y and y. So, kung titignan natin what will be the cross products, 8x times y, the answer is 8xy. The cross product for 3y and x, we have 3xy. Alin nga yun ang nagbigay ng smaller product? Hindi po ba ito yung uh, 3xy natin? So, dito natin lalagay yung negative. Now, if we add these two, because we need to find the sum who is equal to our middle term, so, if we add negative 3xy and 8xy, the answer is 5xy. Yun po ba yung hinahanap natin middle term? Hindi po. So, there's no other possible factors naman for our last term, kundi 3y and y lamang. But, dun sa ating first term, wherein we have 8x squared, pwede tayong magkaroon ng 4x and 2x. Okay, so let's try to get the cross product. Uh, 4x times y, the answer is 4xy. And then we have 3y times 2x, we have 6xy. Alin na nagbigay sa atin ng smaller product? So, itong si 4xy. So, siya yung nilagyan natin ng negative. Alin po yun? So, ito yung y. Lagyan natin ng negative. Now, if we add this to 6xy plus negative 4xy, the answer is positive to xy. So, nahanap na natin yung makakapagbigay sa atin ng equal sa ating middle term. So, we can rewrite our final answer. 4x at saka yung 3y. Yung 3y natin ay positive. So, the quantity of 4x plus 
3y. And then, for the second factor, we have 2x minus y. Or, we can rewrite it as quantity of 2x minus y multiplied to the quantity of 4x plus 3y. So, this will be the final answer for our example number 3. Let's now move to our example number 4. But before that, again, let us delete first everything here. Delete muna natin. Ayan. Then, let's move to our example number 4. We have here 6x squared minus 5x minus 21y squared. Again, before determining the factors, tignan na muna natin yung pattern. So, ito naman yung ating susundin. Meron pa rin tayong uh, opposite sign for the factors of the last term, but the negative will be given to the factor na nagbigay sa atin ng greater product. So, kung kanina nilagay natin yung negative doon sa nagbigay sa atin ng smaller product, ngayon, ibibigay naman natin ang negative sign sa magbibigay sa atin ng greater product. So, now, what are the factors of the first term? So, pwede naman natin idiretso na siya sa 3x and 2x, kung yan yung ating uh, unang naisip. Then, for 21y squared, so, we can try also 7y and 3y. So, bakit hindi ko ipinartner yung 3y dito sa 3x? Kasi po, magkakaroon sila ng common factor, which is magiging conflict kapag nire-write natin ito. So, again, multiply 3x times 3y, we have 9xy. And then, we have 7y and 2x, the answer is 14xy. Ang negative ay ibibigay natin sa nagbigay sa atin ng greater product. Alin ba yung greater product? 14 or 9? Siyempre yung 14. So, dyan yung negative. So, alin yung nakapagbigay ng 14? Ito bang si 3y o itong si 7y? Siyempre, ayan. Tinan ulit natin yung cross product. 3x, 3y, 9xy. 7y, 2x, 14xy. So, nandito yung negative dapat. Now, if we add this to 14xy plus 9xy, so kung mapapansin nyo, 14 ay negative, positive yung 9, so we are going to subtract the absolute values. The answer is 5xy. And ano nga ba yung rule natin or law natin sa uh, loss of sign when it comes to addition of those integers having different sign? So, we attach the sign of the greater value. So, ang may greater value ay negative, so negative yung ating 5xy. Kaya, nahanap na agad natin yung ating uh, final answer, negative 5xy na yung sum nitong dalawa. So, ang final answer can be written into the quantity of 3x minus 7y times the quantity of 2x plus 3y. Or, 2x plus 3y or the quantity of 2x plus 3y multiply to the quantity of 3x minus 7y. Okay, for our last example, example number 5, we have here um, 5x squared minus 32xy plus 12y squared. So again, hanapin na muna natin kung alin nga ba yung pattern na pwede natin sundan. So, in this case, ito yung pangalawa. We're in the factors of the last term must be both negative. Okay? So, determine the factors of the first term. Wala naman tayo ibang factor ng 5x squared, kundi 5x and x. While for 12, we have uh, 12 times 1, 6 times 2, and then 3 times 4. So, pili na lang tayo doon. So, let's try first 6y and 2y. Then, uh, bo both of them must be negative. Then, get the cross product. 5x times negative 2y. We have negative 10xy. And then, negative 6y times x. The answer is negative 6xy. Then, if we add this on our step number 3, the answer is negative 16xy. Negative 16xy po ba yung hinahanap natin? So, hindi. And then, kung may isip natin, try natin itong pagpalitin. Mukhang yun na yung ating hinahanap. So, we have 5x and x 
pagpalitin natin yung negative 2y and negative 6y, then we get the cross product, 5x times 6y, the answer is negative 30xy. Negative 2 times x, the answer is negative 2xy. Then if we add this 2, the answer will be negative 32xy. So, ito na yung hinahanap natin na equal sa middle term. So, we can rewrite the factors as the quantity of 5x minus 2y multiplied to the quantity of x minus 6y. Or, we have the quantity of x minus 6y multiplied to the quantity of 5x minus 2y. So, this will be the last Example, for our general trinomial A is greater than 1. I hope you learned something from this video lesson. And kung meron kayong questions regarding this general trinomials A is greater than 1, balikan nyo lang po yung ating video. And that's all for today. We're done with the factoring techniques. And I hope you learned something from this video. Bye!